The universe, in all its infinite wisdom and power, responds to the vibration of our spoken and unspoken words. These words, when uttered with conviction and belief, hold the potential to alter our reality, sparking a process of manifestation that can bring our deepest desires to life. Hey there everyone, Gabby here. Don't forget to subscribe and comment below. I am interested to know if you had any successful stories. Also, make sure to stick till the end as we'll explore how words hold immense power and how they can shape your reality. It's literally like magic. The law of attraction says that what we focus on, we attract into our lives. So if we think positively and believe in good things, we're more likely to experience positive outcomes. It's like tuning into a certain radio station. If you're tuned into positive thoughts, you'll attract positive situations. But if you're constantly focused on negative thoughts, you'll attract more negativity into your life. So by paying attention to our thoughts and choosing to focus on the good stuff, we can shape our reality in a positive way. Our inner conversations, those incessant mental dialogues that run like a continuous stream of consciousness, play a critical role. These mental conversations attract our life experiences. Unless we become aware of this internal chatter and consciously direct it toward our desired outcomes, our personal history remains unaltered. The words we use in our self-talk are potent seeds. When planted in the fertile soil of our subconscious mind, these seeds grow into the circumstances and experiences we encounter in our lives. This idea is beautifully encapsulated in a biblical scripture. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. If we cultivate a mental garden of positive, empowering thoughts and beliefs, we will experience a life that mirrors these qualities. Words are powerful tools of creation. They are the building blocks of our reality, shaping our experiences and influencing our emotional states. Each word we utter or think is a command to the universe, instructing it about what we wish to experience. The power of our words lies in their vibrational frequency. Words carry energy, and this energy vibrates at different frequencies, attracting experiences that match these frequencies. Positive words like abundance, joy, peace, love vibrate at high frequencies, attracting experiences of a similar nature. On the other hand, negative words like lack, fear, pain, anger vibrate at lower frequencies, attracting corresponding experiences. Fear and love are two primary emotions from which all other emotions stem. These emotions also serve as the foundation from which we manifest our reality. Manifesting from a place of fear often leads to outcomes that mirror this fear. For instance, if we desire financial prosperity, but our inner dialogue is dominated by fear of lack or worry about bills, we end up attracting more financial struggle. On the other hand, manifesting from a place of love aligns us with the frequency of abundance. Attracting experiences that echo this state of abundance. When we trust in the universe's abundant nature and affirm our financial prosperity with a sense of gratitude and joy, we attract more wealth and prosperity into our lives. To harness the power of words for manifestation, we need to practice conscious language. This involves being mindful of the words we use in our inner and outer dialogue, ensuring they align with our desired outcomes. Conscious language also involves speaking in the present tense, as though our desired outcome is already a reality. This affirmative language sends a powerful message to the universe, affirming our belief in our ability to manifest our desires. Imagination plays a critical role in the manifestation process. It has the power to create your reality. When we visualize our desired outcome with vivid detail and emotional intensity, we impress these images onto our subconscious mind. This sets in motion the law of attraction, drawing experiences that match these images into our reality. In Greek, the words seeing and knowing are interchangeable. This linguistic nuance offers a profound insight into the nature of divine wisdom. To see God or to know God implies a deep experiential understanding that transcends intellectual knowledge. This knowing is often accompanied by a purification of heart, clearing away obstructions that prevent us from aligning with our divine nature. When we truly know or see God, we are freed from the tyranny of secondary causes. We realize that we are the sole creators of our reality, and there is no external force or circumstance that can hinder our manifesting power. This realization brings about a profound sense of freedom, liberating us from fear and empowering us to manifest our desires with confidence and ease. Words hold immense power. They are the seeds we plant in the fertile soil of our subconscious mind, growing into the trees that shape our reality. So don't just sit around and start manifesting the life of your dreams. Millions are doing it, now it's your turn. That's it for me for today, let me know down below what you think. I really hope you liked this video, and if you found this helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and share it with anyone who needs a positive lift in their life. Thanks again, and until next time, keep dreaming, keep visualizing, and keep manifesting.